Hi, my name is Timo from Tidivo and I'm going to discuss the first step in recycling your own plastic. So what I did, I went through the office in our building and I asked all my colleagues if they had any plastic waste lying around. And this is what I collected, a bin full. Okay, this is what we got. It's quite interesting to see that it's it's quite a lot and it's only from this morning and we have more or less 15 people in our office. Imagine how much waste we would produce in a week or a month or even a year. So that shows the importance of recycling your plastic. Okay, let's step, uh, jump into the next step and that is filtering out all useless materials and non-plastics. So I asked my colleagues to collect all the uh, materials that they identify as plastic but I can already see that this is definitely not a plastic this is a wrench come on guys so the next step would be to filter out any material that cannot be recycled so I can see that one of my colleagues had a 9 a.m. Chinese takeaway and it's completely absorbed with grease and dirt and he already tried to rinse it off uh, under the under the sink, but it didn't really help that much. It's completely absorbed, so it's not worth recycling actually. So let's get rid of it. So I found some interesting parts as well. This power socket and the handle of this pen. I want to recycle them because they're plastics, but they're not the right type of plastic. They're thermal sets, which means that they cannot be remelted again. And in order to recycle my plastic, I want to melt it to give it a new shape. And uh, thermoplastics uh, have the ability to do this because they can be remelted every time under the influence of heat. But since these can't, I'll just remove these. And also these styrofoam blocks. Yes, it's plastic. Yes, it can be recycled. But is it worth your time and effort? No, it isn't. Because now it looks like quite some, uh, quite a big batch of plastic. But if you compress it, it's actually a really small piece of plastic. So it's not really worth your time actually. In, in the time that you're spending on recycling this block of foam, you could spend it on collecting more plastic actually. So let's get rid of all these blocks of foam, even these tiny ones. And now you can see we're already making our batch a little bit smaller, which makes it a lot easier in the process. So the next step would be to sort our plastic based on the polymer type. So we can do this by identifying the polymer type by looking closely at the parts. Like most uh, plastics, they display a little triangle with the arrows and a number inside. For example, this bag from the Albert Heijn, or as my international colleagues like to call it, Albert Heijn. And it says number four, which means uh, low density polyethylene. Uh, or as it says here, LDPE. So based on this information on all the parts, we can start uh, sorting all our plastics and that makes it a lot easier for the rest of the process. So let's get started. So that took me a while, but I actually did it. I sorted all our plastic that we had in the box. It was actually quite difficult because not all parts displayed the number of the polymer type on the part. So what I had to do was I had to google what that part was usually made of. For example this bubble wrap, it doesn't display any number. So I had to google it and it, it appears to be low density polyethylene, so LDP. So I put it on this stack here. The PET bottles, PET stands for the type of plastic, everyone knows that of course. And the spools for example, uh, some PLA, also interesting to note we have some PLA on this spool left. Still have to take that off so we can separate that as well. And this is where my part in this video ends. So my colleague Louis will come back to you on the next video and he will show you the next step in the recycling process. My name is Timo, thank you for watching, see you next time.